YouTube, it's Lena, and I'm actually here today with the foundation review, which is slightly different from how I usually do things. But I decided I wanted to experiment a little, and we shall see which either first impression or review style works better for you guys. So I am reviewing the L'Oreal Palace Infallible Total Cover Full Coverage Weightless Foundation. It promises to give 24 hour foundation wear. The finish is natural. It wears up to 24 hours. The coverage is high and the texture is air light. So it runs at $12.99 according to Ulta's website and that's what I paid to at CVS. It seems to come in 12 shades. And I have the lightest one in 301 Classic Ivory and you get one ounce of product. So first off, I don't love this shade on me. It's not the actual color that's wrong. I think there's something a little off with the tone. Like I think it might be, it's not as pink as this uh, label would imply, but I think it is a, a little bit pink for my skin. I'm pretty warm undertoned, kind of neutral leaning towards warm, but I think this might be a hair too pink for me. Maybe that's why I don't love it. So I've been wearing this for five days straight. I've been testing it with different primers. I tested it without a primer. So I think at this point, I know how this foundation handles. So first off, I tried it both with the brush and a sponge. I happen to prefer a sponge. I think it goes on a little too thick and cakey for me when I try it with a brush. And the thing is, this is a mousse like texture. It's a lot in the lines of the Rimmel Stay Matte, if you are familiar with that at all. So, like, it's not, you know, it's no liquidiness to it. And as you can see, it actually does provide some pretty darn good coverage. It says it's not heavy, it's air light. I do not find it air light. I find it to be a little heavy. Now, I like the Rimmel Stay Matte, so this kind of heaviness doesn't really bother me, but kind of bothers me. I, I can deal with it. Let me put it that way. No. Works better with the sponge. You do end up using kind of a lot of product when you use a sponge though. I will say that, but that's kind of the curse of the sponge. You will either shear it out more than you might like, or you have to use a lot of product to kind of build it back up. But, you know, I go through foundations fairly quick anyway, so that doesn't bother me too badly. Does, like I said, it does have really good coverage, or at least as far as a drugstore foundation is concerned. It's not, you know, Estee Lauder double wear, but if, if you have a lot, like a lot of redness to your face and some stuff to cover up, I think this might be a good way to go. This doesn't work great with oily skin though. So I tried it on its own. It was not gone in four hours, but I was super oily. And I used a couple of hydrating primers because that's what I'm trying to get through right now at first. And I was like, no, this is not going to work. So when I wore it today, I actually tried the Givenchy Master Matte Primer that I had a sample of. And I loved the look of it when it first went on a lot better. Like, maybe I just don't really enjoy a natural finish foundation, but I thought it looked a lot better with the matte primer on underneath. So... I've now had it on for eight hours, so I will bring you up close. I haven't blotted at all because I wanted it to be, you know, true to form. And while some of that glow is definitely highlight that's still sticking around, it is, it's gotten more natural looking as time has went on. And it's, I don't know how well you can see this. Actually, I can see it in the viewfinder, so maybe you can, but it's like rubbed off of my nose. Other than that, it hasn't really rubbed off anywhere. Let's see, does it rub off when I touch it? Maybe a little bit, but not bad. I don't think it left like a giant patch on my forehead where I did rub it, but because of the oils, it is, start, it is starting to break down a little bit. I could blot, and that blotting does help it, and it doesn't come off of my blotting sheets. Without the matte primer, I've had to blot at about the four hour mark before I my face was starting to try to completely eat it. So would I recommend this? Maybe, I think this would work better with maybe more lighter oily people than me. I am incredibly oily. I live in South Louisiana where it is really hot normally and especially, it's not, I wouldn't call it hot right now, 
because it is February, but we've had a really mild winter. So during the day, it can still get up to like 80 degrees and I can still sweat pretty easily. <laughs> so this, I don't necessarily think is for me. I would not repurchase, but if you are less oily than me, I think this would work great with lightly oily to normal skin. I don't know how well this would work with dry skin though because I think that those kind of moussier texture foundations, I think they might cling the dry patches a little bit easier. You can't find a dry patch on my face for it to cling to so I can't test that properly. But as far as really oily skin people are concerned, unless you want to wear a hardcore matte primer on underneath, it doesn't hang on that well. So that is it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I do really appreciate it. And hopefully I will see you later. Bye.